Salto Apple and Rose Basket in color. Mix two cups of flour and one cup of salt together and set it aside. And then add some water to some pink paint. Stir in the flour and salt mixture. Mix together the paint and water and the flour and salt until it becomes the consistency of Play-Doh. You're going to need to knead the dough. Now place the dough in a plastic bag and seal it so that it doesn't dry out. I've pre-mixed some other salt dough. We're going to begin with the brown salt dough that I pre-mixed. We're going to form a basket. Add a little bit of flour and salt to your table if the dough sticks. Take a paper clip or a sculpting tool and indent the dough so it looks like a woven basket. Then place it on parchment paper. Take a couple small balls of the brown dough and roll it out evenly. If it cracks, you can just add a little bit of water and re-knead the dough. Twist together the two strands of dough. Make a little paste with flour and salt dough mixture and water and glue it to the bottom of the basket. We're going to do the same thing with the top of the basket, but for this we're going to use a little bit larger diameter of dough rolled out. You can also roll out one diameter of dough and then overlap it. Twist it and glue it to the top of the basket. Now I've decided that the basket is a little bit too high. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to trim the basket down. Now take some small balls of red dough, roll them into a round shape, put them on the top. I like to use clothes for the stems. Dip them into your salt dough paste mixture and then into the apples. For the apples that are in the front, I put them in backwards so it looks like the ends of the apples are sticking up. Now we're going to create some pretty little roses, twist the center, and then add the petals. If the dough is sticky enough, then you don't need to add your paste mixture because the petals will adhere to the center stem. Once you have enough petals to your liking and you feel it's balanced enough, pinch off the bottom and then place the rose on the basket. Continue this process until you have placed all of the roses that you would like on your basket. Try not to touch the top of the petals. That's why I like to use a paper clip or a sculpting tool. And then we're going to add a couple apples on the sides. And next we're going to create some little bitty balls of lavender purple color for our cluster of grapes.
Repeat the process until the cluster of grapes is to your liking. Lastly, we're going to form some leaves. Create a teardrop shape and then indent with a sculpting tool or with a paper clip. We'll add a few little buds to the roses. Now after you bake the salto in the oven at 170, you're going to bake it for a few hours on one side, turn it over and bake until hard on the back. Then you're going to spray it with some clear glaze. Lastly, when it's dry, attach a ribbon and there you have it.